Hi everyone, this is Sajina, uh, Thasha's sister. I'm sure some of you have already seen me in some of his videos before, uh, but I thought I'd take over the camera for this one because uh, I'm actually currently on a trip of my own to Mexico. So I'm actually spending a week here in Mexico doing four days in Playa del Carmen and then I'm doing four days in Tulum. Um, and I've got a friend with me who's joining me. Hey. There we go, meet Nim. I'm going to be showing you what I get up to um, and give you ideas for things that you could do if you ever come here. And obviously, I'm going to show you all the food I eat. So once we checked into our hotel, we actually decided to go for a walk down to the beach to see the sunset. On our way there, we managed to stumble across a market. And this market had all kinds of things going on. So they had food stalls, they had stalls selling clothes and accessories. Now we didn't actually end up getting much at the market, but we did get ourselves some churros, which we topped with a lot of chocolate sauce. Let's see what Nim had to say about it. Yeah, good. So good. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so messy. What's that? Right. Got mango with lime. Really good and very spicy, which I love. This is how we eat guava in India. So, oh, really? Yeah, we eat with like salt and chili powder. Let's tell them what we're doing. So, we're on Fifth Avenue for our first day in Mexico. Yeah. And we're very tired. We've travelled about like 30 hours with a layer. Not, not, not in one go. Not in one go. We did two separate over. journeys. We went to Houston, watched San Diego. It was amazing. We'll drop some clips on that at some point. It's very busy, very yeah. yeah. hustle and bustle. Yeah, but it's nice, like nice busy, not too busy. Yeah. Survival. So what's the It's only, it's only eight. It's only eight p.m. So the night is still young. I want to go to bed. <laughs> Good morning, and welcome to day two of our trip to Mexico. So today we've actually decided to take a little day trip to a nearby island called Cozumel, um, and. To get here, so we had to take a, it was just a 45 minute ferry and it cost us about 280 pesos to get here. So we're going to be spending the day kind of exploring the island. We've also got a little snorkeling trip booked. Uh, we've had some really good snorkeling sites around here. So we thought we'd give that a go. Hello everyone, we have just finished a snorkeling tour mm -hmm. and they've stopped over by like a beach for food. So it's all included within the tour actually, the food, the snorkeling, um, the drinks. The drinks, you got like unlimited drinks on the on the boat itself. It was really fun. Uh, we went like three times. We saw stingrays, fish, barracuda. This is the first time I've actually ever been snorkeling, so I really loved it. Um, and the people that are doing it are really lovely as well. Yeah. Because um, I had a couple of troubles. <laughs> I think everyone did, to be honest. Yeah, to so. be fair, they were very like helpful yeah. and very patient with everyone. So it was very sweet. No pointing out all the stuff to look up. good time here on Cosmo. It was a really lovely warm day. We managed to get the snorkeling and go on that little tour. Um, we got some really lovely food and had a little walk about in the kind of downtown area as well. We are very tired and exhausted, especially from all the snorkeling. 
So we are going to head back to the hotel, freshen up a bit and then probably head out for dinner. Hello everyone. So we just came out for some dinner uh, after spending the whole day on Cosmo Island. We are quite tired, I can't lie. Uh, but we did come out to this place called El Fagon. I think that's what it's called. Nim found it. Um, and they did some really good tacos there. I got the pasta taco and then Nim got something called the Los Alambres. I would say it's probably a good place, but the food was also really cheap, was what we discovered. Because I think all together, for both of our foods came to... And drinks. And drinks. It came to... How much was it all together? Like, less than 20 pounds. Less than 20 pounds for, like, food and drinks for both of us. So, that was pretty good. And, like, the food was actually good. It wasn't, like... I think it was the best food we've had so far. Yeah, like, definitely probably one of the best foods we've had since you've got here so I would definitely recommend it it's it was near our hotel so, uh, so it's not quite near like the fifth avenue where like the busy bit is but they have a chain it's but, a chain oh it's a chain I'm discovering all kinds of new things here welcome to day three of our trip here to Playa del Carmen um, so today we're actually spending the day at a place called Rio Secreto which is an area where you've got these kind of it was a nature reserve basically where with this really well-known underground cave um that has like a lake in it we decided to book a tour to kind of go and see the caves um and you also get to have like a tour of like the local jungle and stuff as well as part of it now the actual cave itself from what i understand you actually can't film in there so i'll try and film what i can film and then the rest i'll show you pictures afterwards here we go wristbands all along so we've actually gone for the plus tour which actually includes the underground cave itself but also we get to go do a bit of cycling in the jungle nearby and get to go to see some of the dry caves too. So, are we excited? Yes, very. I'm excited to see the cave and like go exploring. Um, yeah, it looks a bit scary, but I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll survive. It's actually a school bus. So, it looks like we're sat in some kind of replica of an American school bus. Yeah, <laughs> going back to school. So, you get given a free buffet after doing the entire tour. Uh, so, just had some food. I'm not going to lie, the food wasn't great. But, <laughs> <laughs> like, there weren't many options. We ended up having pasta, uh, which is not really why I came to Mexico. But I would say that like, the actual experience of the tour was really good. Like, I really enjoyed, because we did... Yeah, so we did like the plus tour so you got to do like some cycling you got to do some rappelling into like a cave uh, you got to see a tour of a dry cave and then you also got to go into this water cave um, now you couldn't film any of it uh, which sucked but they do take photos for you like professional photos um, which you do have to pay quite a lot to buy but they did take a, but they took a lot of photos and mm. so they were good they, they, were, they were good photos um, so I should put them in now <laughs> Would we recommend? For sure. The food or the, oh yeah. Yeah, like the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah Maybe yeah. not the food, but the place. And I, we do probably recommend that you go for the plus tour rather than like the simple one. What was the simple one again? So the simple one was literally only going into the underwater cave. Oh, nothing else? Nothing else. But the underwater cave was really good. Like I think that was one of my favorite bits. Mm. But the other parts made it a lot more, like I think it was a better day well spent by doing all the other stuff mm. as well. It's, it's worth it. Um, and for the amount we paid for it, how much? Like 90 pounds each less than that that's like 70 yeah like for how much it is you get like it's a whole day like well spent basically so i think it's worth it for sure good morning it is day four of our trip in mexico and actually our last day here in Playa del carmen we're off to well we had a bit of a lion today um, and we're only just heading out but we've decided to grab some brunch um, and then see where the day takes us So 
this is our last night here now in Playa del Carmen. We spent pretty much most of the day by the beach and just relaxing to be honest, which we haven't really done a lot of on this trip. So that was quite nice. Um, the beach was a bit busy, but I think we had a good time. We're now off to get some dinner um, and we're going to some place called Don Sirloin. Apparently got some really good tacos there. As yeah. you can see, the running theme of our food on this trip is a lot of tacos. So that pretty much concludes the trip to Plau del Carmen and essentially this first video. We went to grab dinner from Don Saloin, which was actually really good. I loved their tacos. And then we just walked around Fifth Avenue um, and around like the town and the beach. Um, and now we're heading back to the hotel. But yeah, it was a, it was a good four days here in Playa del Carmen. We are excited to now be headed off to Tulum for the next few days uh, and hopefully be exploring some of the more historical parts uh, of this part of Mexico, especially some of the Mayan kind of archaeological sites, uh, which I'm quite excited for. Uh, thanks for watching. Like if like the video and comment down below uh, any, any, anything that you've thought about the video. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on the Food Diary by Search. But yeah, see you soon um, and hope you enjoyed.